Hi everybody, welcome to Pod Talk. I'm here with uh, Dr. Rob and I'm here with Dr. Graham. We just came back from the ASMI uh, baseball conference and uh, and actually Dr. Rob is an alum of CMCC, a school that I went to a long, long time ago. Bro. It seems like it's been a long time ago, Too right? long, buddy. Too, Too long, long bro. Too long, Too buddy. Long. And uh, Dr. Rob has developed a system that I didn't even know about until like this weekend. So I'm just gonna have him kind of talk about what he's developed. So the system is called Athletic Movement Assessment. If you want to take a look, athleticmovementassessment.com. And essentially it's all about a hack. Our brain perceives function based on demand. So to actually influence demand, you gotta know that proprioception on three levels. Yeah. Where the limb is in space, when it moves, and how much motor action you need to actually produce that movement. When people have problems, you either get pain, stiffness, or you just don't feel good and you can't move. So with a hack, what you're trying to do with your external cues is to actually give the brain the missing links to that proprioception to actually make change. If the hack makes it easier, then it's more of a coaching training cue. If it's harder, then you realize where to actually do your treatment. All right. Okay, so we have Dr. Graham right here, and he has some stiffness in his, you said you have stiffness in the medial elbow. medial elbow. So let's go into what you would normally do in a normal assessment. Now, is there like a history that we have to take? Yeah, so you put it into context, like it's, um, what's the movement issue? External rotation. So external rotation that causes medial elbow pain? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's number one. Number two is, are you an experienced lifter? Uh, so I. So, so, I've seen you left. So. <laughs> We're like, yeah. oh, that's <laughs> bro. <laughs> Big key is if you're not an experienced lifter, chances of you performing good movement, you're going to be stiff. Yeah. Your brain doesn't actually know what it has never learned. Right. So that's the biggest key to it. If, if you have experience, then it's easier to learn and yeah. relearn. Uh -huh. If you've never learned it yeah. or you've lost it, yeah. then the relearning effect right, will actually manifest itself in bad programs. So is that the human brain's way of being like, I've never learned this movement, I'm just going to create stability. I'm going to yes. just hammer everything down, create a lot of stiffness so that I have somewhat, some, a little bit of control over that movement. Yeah, that stiffness really is the brain's way of being confused, that it thinks it's unstable, creates right. stiffness to provide that stability, right. which is then used to actually create a contraction. Right. Problem being is that is very inefficient, Yeah. which causes either brute effort, which is uh -huh. too much um, effort on your part where you're holding your breath and you're trying yeah. to shake through, versus an easy effort where it just goes through, which usually tells you you learned it once upon a yeah. time. So, Dr. Jackson, where, or Jack Jackson, Dr. Graham, where are you feeling the stiffness? Are you doing it like in a snatch? Are you feeling it when you're throwing, when you're up in an overhead squat? No, so it's actually just doing like thoracic mobility and I bring, yeah. my, bring my arms back. I can feel the, the stiffness right in here. So just, just going into yeah. that position okay. creates stiffness. So for those of you who can't see it on the camera, he's talking about basically a 90-90 position trying to get into external rotation and he's feeling stiffness right at the medial epicondyle. So what other considerations are we thinking about? So the other thing is, are you injured? No. Okay, so the injuries what, what that I'll actually do is override uh -huh. that hack uh -huh. because it trumps the actual neural input. Right. Right. So it acts like a distraction, so to speak. So if he has like a tendonitis or a tendinosis in that region, then yep. that's going to trump everything that and you're going to have everything. to treat that first. Potentially, yes. Uh, but the, what the, tr the injury does though, it actually gives you an idea of can you relearn it, Yeah. but it doesn't necessarily override the complete hack. Uh -huh. It's just a matter of treatment is on the table because yeah. there's an injury. Uh -huh. It's just a matter of how much treatment do you have to do. Right. It's not all tendinopathies are actually symptomatic. Right. Pain or a symptom that people have is actually the brain's way of just sending a messenger saying something's wrong, okay. not necessarily something's injured. So if it's asymptomatic, how are you finding out or ferreting out that there is an issue in that tendon if he's talking about his medial epicondyle? So that with the system, what we do is we use external cues or palliative maneuvers. Uh -huh. meaning that palliative meaning very something transient, yeah. not permanent changing. Yeah. That it just gives an idea of what the problem might be. So yeah. when you go to do treatment, uh -huh. that's what you treat. I.e., 
is the source of pain, the medial elbow in this case, the actual problem. Mm. So the idea is prove what it's not. Yeah. Okay. Which is that pain there. All right. So is there anything else before we even lay our hands no. on him? No. All right. All right. Let's get let's close do up. Do you get stiffness here? No. It's uh, just distal to Yep. Right in there. Right in through there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when I do this, this hurts? Yep. Okay. Does it hurt or is it actually just stiff? Oh, no. It actually hurts. It hurts there. Yeah. Okay. So you've got a, a symptom there, it's just distal, right about two finger breasts below, medial epicondyle, so right off the uh, sublime tubercle, i.e. where the anterior bundle of the UCL would attach. So basically what you do is, um, this hurts, external rotation hurts the medial elbow. Right. So what you do is, here's the hack, tighten your stomach, pull down your shoulder blade as hard as you can, keep them tight. How's your pain? That's still there. Still there, so no change. So, verbal hack, just stabilize the trunk, nothing changes. We then, stabilize the trunk and we stabilize the yes. shoulder this rotator the scapula. So you actually scapula. provide a base of glenohumeral rotation support through there. So basically what you do now is keep that tight, keep everything stable, all right? This hurts, still, this yeah. hurt. Push your elbow down into my hand. No, not the hand, just push down the elbow right there. Is there still pain? Not as much. Not as much, okay? So the next thing you do is make a fist as hard as you can. Do you have any pain? No. So, tightening up the core, stabilizing, depressing that uh, scapula, didn't change anything, but when he actually maintained those two things, pl plus extended the glenohumeral joint at 90, right, less pain if he gripped, separate to the extension through here, there's less pain. So the override being if he uses posterior delt and some of the posterior chain along with the, the forearm. Flexures, yeah. There's actually less pain. So what does that tell you? There's a lack of control and awareness of position that the brain gives him the message that there's something wrong at the medial elbow that he can override and change. So basically what you do is um, grip, tells the brain where the shoulder is in space, mm -hmm. all right? You resisting actually tells you where to move in space, and then activating actually gives you the motor control to be in space. Mm. So those three elements of proprioception, limb position yeah. at 90, limb movement when you're actually contracting, yeah. and then actually firing muscle groups, yeah. right? Synergies as they're called, actually now stabilizes the, the system, uh -huh. and the brain doesn't perceive a threat. Okay. So, so what you're saying is what you're floating out there is is that the reason why he has pain is because his elbow is telling him you are in an unstable position at this point in time. Stop fucking doing this yeah. <laughs> or else you're going to hurt me so, more. Yeah, essentially the brain's like I don't like this. Yeah. It's it's not safe. Unstable can be a word used or a lack of control that it, it shoots off a messenger pain or stiffness right that the whole key to this is are you shooting the messenger when you go to treat yeah are you actually dealing with the issue at hand because okay. the, the trap is people say oh, I'm sore there they'll treat there mm -hmm. the argument becomes with this system sometimes you don't actually have to do that yeah because a lot of times if you treat you're shooting the messenger and nothing happens mm. so this gives you an, in, uh, some insight as to okay what am I doing do I actually need to treat you or do I actually need to give him some exercise to actually load the system? So in shoulder problems, here's the trick. Keep your hand on your stomach, rotate your shoulder, right, so without moving your hand. This is how your brain works for yeah. the hand. So move the glenohumeral joint, not your shoulder blade, right? Move the shoulder, rotate it without moving your hand. Your brain can't. Right. So for you to actually have a stable shoulder, a functional shoulder, all right, your hand has to move. Yeah. That's how your brain operates. So proprioception is always based on limbs, mm -hmm. right? For anything proximal, meaning the, the trunk and the core, their job is to ensure that everything is stable for you to actually move. Hmm. That's so, interesting. So now the hack becomes, because it was all verbal, tightening everything up and you actually cueing certain muscle groups. Right. Your exercise is actually, you do a hang or you do a farmer's carry. Hmm. Basically, turn your hands on. Okay. Sympathetically, you turn on the system autonomically yeah. via your hands and or your feet. 
So, uh, so you're, what you're saying is the way to treat his elbow pain is doing like an active hang on a bar, maybe a farmer's carry, carry shoulder carry, shoulder carries with a kettlebell. Yep. Just turn the system on. Actually, get the brain to clue in to core, scap, and grip function. Right. To get rid of that pain. And I'll give you an example of how I would have thought it. I would have just done an orthopedic test into this area. <clears throat> I would have felt it. It's see, like I can recreate pain mm -hmm. in this area. Yes. So I'm starting. So how how are you discounting that it might still not be like a tendinosis? Not, yeah. So then the key is. Do you need to treat that, yeah. or is that actually a byproduct of poor function? So what you're saying is, this could just be the smoke. This, all of this could actually be the fire. You got it. So just because it doesn't feel good underneath your fingers, doesn't necessarily mean this is actually bad. Yeah. Yes, it hurts, but the point being is, what's the true messenger? This bothers you if you move. Yeah. Hmm. Not just standing there because he's poking at you. Yeah, it's not the cause of the problem. Exactly. So the idea becomes with the tendinosis is we know that so if you load it and you treat it, it doesn't necessarily change. Yeah. So the premise being is what's the messenger? Why is there pain? Yeah. And it's the brain's way of actually interpreting what's going on. You just got to figure out is it real and is it the true problem or is there actually something else that actually creates the issue mm. for you, the smoke? Yeah. All right. Thank you, A-Rob. So how... Could somebody get more information about your seminars? Seminars, um, hopefully we're in Dallas. Yeah, <laughs> one day. Year. Yeah, um, we will. But go to athleticmovementassessment.com and check us out. All right, and if they want to follow you on Instagram, Instagram or Twitter. Yeah, we're at Assess Movement and, uh, and uh, on Twitter uh -huh. as well as on Instagram, same, hashtag, same label. Awesome. Well, Great. I want to thank you guys for uh, hanging in on with us. And if you guys want to get a hold of me, you know all my social media. It's like right over here. And uh, move free, humans.